many extent. But they had introduced them to a world where the manner was no hindrance. The world of naval intelligence, which I was to discover was his present occupation. It was when he took his straight from the House of Commons to the Hinterdome for an evening of noble entertainment that I began to wonder if that meeting had been entirely accidental. Ordinary men and women feasted on hot pies and the spectacle of simulated war. But the passions behind their cheers and cries were real, unambiguous, and as Seymour had rightly surmised, the property of politicians. Or, in 1909, Admiral.
man on the book can't do any harm, can it? By the name of Soot. Lufa Soot. Have you ever heard of him? About six months ago, the German military man found sketchy near a dockyard at Tatum, as I recall. He said, supported under a cloud. I suppose it's your holiday. Bicycling, if you choose. But, sir, I have to tell you, I plan to be married later this year. Yeah. Most reluctant to spend time away from Edinburgh. Married? Yeah, they're polite, though. <laughs> Get yourself into a decent cart. You forget all about them. Women, that is. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> One takes the sporting impact. Huh? Stick to the phonies. They can kick you in the head, but it's a clean death. Now, where were we? At this stage in my career, I... You didn't come in here through the tradesman's entrance. We saw you do deal by the We're we're talking at cross purposes here. It is because you live in Edinburgh that your servant is the business valuable. Ask more about the other fellow. Arthur Beckner. Ever heard of him? Can't say I have. What's the connection? Oh, there may not be one. Then again, you may. Who is he, sir? Professor of Engineering, University of Hamburg. But in Edinburgh for a year on some official exchange. Students seem to like him. He's got transcripts of his lecture. It's all good stuff, apparently. A spy? Well, too soon to say, but uh, we're not happy about it. For one, we can't trace his history back beyond the University of Ulm. Fought there in the academic year 30 years younger than her husband, who must have been around 60 years of age. This in itself would not have been unusual, were it not for the stream of anxious young men she had drawn into her husband's elevated circle. All had been foreign, military, or diplomatic. She was known to our Berlin embassy. I was as fascinated as she was. Uh, 
significance at Dalmeny House, the Scottish seat of the Earl of Rosebery, occasioned by the forthcoming marriage of his daughters. The social basis of the celebration ball had been widened at the suggestion of Lord Fisher to include many officers of the Northern Fleet, then preparing for summer manoeuvres out of the fort, and also to include myself, my fiancée Cora, Seymour Belido and the suspect, Andrew Porteous. On the day, a midsummer sun lingered until late evening when lanterns were lit throughout the exquisite parkland down to the white beach bordering the fourth estuary. Inflamed somewhat by champagne, the orchestra rose to the requirements of young love, high spirits, Form them deeper in the throat, Sam. 